Hi, I'm Diana, and I'm interviewing Ms. Jarvis today uh, for International Education Week. How many different countries have you visited? Well, I've actually been to 150 UN countries, but it's actually a complicated question mm -hmm. because there are UN countries, and then there's like territories that mm -hmm. the UN doesn't recognize. Mm -hmm. So I've been to 168 countries, including those territories like that Taiwan and the Vatican and um, Palestine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, all right. Uh, is there a reason that you chose these specific countries? Uh, so when I first started visiting every mm -hmm. country, I was actually pursuing a Guinness World Record, mm -hmm. and their list was 195, mm -hmm. and that included the Vatican and Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So that's why I originally started going to these countries that weren't UN recognized. Uh -huh. But then I just kind of fell in love with like visiting places that were not on a list, uh -huh. if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, what was like your favorite part during staying, like the most enjoyable part? Well, honestly, I just really love like experiencing different cultures, mm -hmm. like yeah. things that aren't the same as the United States. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, it does. Uh -huh. Uh, did you have any culture shocks? Because America is pretty different compared to some of the other countries. Yeah, I feel like in America we're constantly like on the run, mm -hmm. like in a rush. Yeah. And so sometimes when I first go to a country and I'm walking down the sidewalk <laughs> and people are just kind of like meandering down the sidewalk with like nowhere they need to be, I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and I'm like, oh wait, I'm not in America. Mm -hmm. I have nowhere to be. Like, mm -hmm. why am I in a rush? Uh -huh. So that's yeah. kind of like one of the bigger culture shocks. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's also sometimes like some food that I'm not used to, mm -hmm. yeah. but I say I'll try any food once. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. Um, is there like a favorite part about your home country? Yeah, I I mean, I love America because we are very fortunate that we live here. Yeah. We may have our issues, but overall, we're like a very fortunate country. Yeah. So that's one thing that I really like about America. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I really like about America is ice. <laughs> In a lot of countries, they like won't give you ice. And I'm the type of person that likes to have like ice in my water, ice oh. in my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so that's... America being fortunate and ice. <laughs> ice, yeah. yeah. Um, what was the most valuable thing about your adventure in totality? I think that the most valuable lesson that I've learned is empathy. Empathy. You visit these places and it kind of goes off of how fortunate we are in America, yeah. but you visit these places and you see people like struggling to find food mm -hmm. or like Specifically, I went to Afghanistan, mm -hmm. and now that the Taliban took over, mm -hmm. women aren't even allowed to get an education. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just kind of like having empathy for people's situations mm -hmm. and understanding yeah. like where they're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Do we have anyone else on set who wants to ask Ms. Jarvis questions? All right. There we go. <laughs> so what is your favorite country that you've ever gone to? <laughs> this is probably the hardest question you can ever ask a traveler. I have a top three that is constantly evolving, mm -hmm. but I would say right now my favorite countries are um, Algeria, mm -hmm. uh, Uzbekistan, mm -hmm. Ethiopia. I'm going to give you my top five, sorry. <laughs> and I really like Syria and Lebanon as well. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Uh, yes. Which one had like the most beautiful landscapes? Like which one had a, an amazing view? Uh, <laughs> so there's so many beautiful landscapes in the world that it's hard to choose. Sorry I keep giving like <laughs> not straight answers. <laughs> but I'll say the landscape that I was most surprised by was Yemen. Mm -hmm. In Yemen, it's just so raw and untouched and it touches the Indian Ocean, mm -hmm. and it's just beautiful and blue, and there's these cliffs that just drop straight off into the ocean. Mm -hmm. It can be kind of scary if you're driving, yeah. because there's literally nothing to stop these rocks from yeah. like falling on the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, Yemen had the most beautiful coastlines. All right, uh, okay. anything else? Uh, yeah, uh, how do you deal with different government changes and like different, like I know we have a very different governments and a lot of different other countries, so how do you like deal with that when you first come? 
to a new country? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, the quick answer is just lots of research. Mm -hmm. And you just have to be open to accepting other forms of government. You may not agree with them, but you're visiting their country. Mm -hmm. So you just do the research and then you follow their laws. Mm -hmm. So for instance, like uh, Iran, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. Somalia, Yemen, M women are, they're not required in all of those countries to wear the hijab, mm -hmm. except in Iran they are. But um, you just you just follow their rules. You try and blend in. Mm -hmm. You may not agree with them, mm -hmm. but it's for your safety, and it's also respecting mm -hmm. their government and their culture. Yeah. So it's just yeah. like a lot of research. Okay. Then, anything else? Um, so out of food-wise, what is the favorite thing you've ever tried, and where <laughs> was it? Uh, so I love Middle Eastern food. Mm -hmm. I, I actually just got back from Iraq, mm -hmm. and I cannot remember what it was called, but it's this, it's like a, it's rice, lamb, and chicken mm -hmm. cooked inside of this bread ball with more rice and golden raisins, and you just tear it open, and it's this like steaming medley of savoriness. It's amazing. Yeah. I want that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Anything else? I have one last question. Yes. And this is kind of a hard question. You have me nervous. How do you, how do you, how do you do, deal, like, sometimes there's violence, like, in Afghanistan, there's been a war going on, like, how do you deal with that, um, emotionally and, like, when you're outside doing stuff? Yeah, okay, so I'll answer the first part of that question once again, like, excellent question. Um, specifically, we'll talk about Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. I went to Afghanistan in May 2021 mm -hmm. because I had heard that the U.S. was planning to pull their troops out in mm -hmm. September of 2021. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go before things became tumultuous and like kind of unknown. Mm -hmm. um, so when you visit like a quote dangerous country, the whole country isn't dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like going to Chicago mm -hmm. and avoiding like the south side of Chicago. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just avoid the, and at that time it was, you avoid the Taliban areas. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. in, in dangerous countries, I get guides mm -hmm. who are aware of the safer locations mm -hmm. and like the more dangerous locations. Yeah. Now, emotionally, like once again, Afghanistan was definitely the hardest, well actually in Ukraine, like the last two situations for mm -hmm. me were like very hard just because in Afghanistan I had met a lot of people that like I became pretty close to mm -hmm. and just watching the news and seeing what these people were going through it you're personally not going through it but you feel like you are because you've been there and you've like seen this country and you've seen like how much these people want mm -hmm. to have like a better life for themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's just very difficult. Yeah. Emotionally, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, one last question. Okay. How many passports do you have? Actually, I just went through my fourth passport. Mm -hmm. Uh so I'm sending that one away and I'll be getting my fifth passport soon. Oh, that's cool. Oh, fun fact for anyone who wants to travel a lot, you can get two American passports, mm -hmm. like say you're only a U.S. citizen and you don't have like another nationality to get a passport for, you can get two U.S. passports and send one away to get visas mm -hmm. and then you can travel with the other one. Oh, so there's yeah. a little hint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.